Hey guys, it's Kai from Body Candy. So I was just getting ready and took all my piercings out and I was thinking about my piercing journey and I thought I'd just share it with you while I get ready. So I started getting piercings when I was maybe 13. I had not got my lobes pierced yet at this point. So my mum took me to like a local salon where they did ear piercing. Piercing itself was fine, but they had those little fish in there that eat the dead skin off your feet. They really, really scared me. So I put my hand in because she told me to. Don't like, it's been like, what, 10, 11 years? Terrified, absolutely terrified. I didn't really get any piercings for a while after that. But my piercing that I did get after that a couple of years later was my helix piercing. Overall, it was okay, but with being in school, it would kind of cause some issues. So I had to put a plaster over it, band-aid, whatever you want to call it, most of the time. And the only other piercing I got while I was in school, piercings, plural, was one second lobe for some reason I didn't get matching. And I got my nostril pierced too after a lot of convincing. My mum and dad were not massively behind it but I really wanted it the big emo in school still am exactly what i wanted so after some convincing they let me do it so i had to stud in for a few years then when i went to college we changed this into a hoop and then in college we went on a class trip to barcelona and on the little suburb of barcelona there was a little piercing shop and me and my friend at the time we saw little tapers and we thought oh we are really emo. We need to stretch our ears. That's exactly what we need to do. So being the hygienic queen I was when I was, what, 16, 17? Thought it'd be a great idea to just dead stretch them on the bus. Only to like a small size though. To be fair, it didn't hurt, but I wouldn't recommend doing what I did. That's like a recurring theme in this story. And I continued to stretch them without my mum noticing until I was 12 millimetres. Because wearing plugs constantly. So after that, I went to Manchester and I got my tragus pierced. It got pierced with a ring which didn't heal very well. But as soon as I got the confidence to take out that hoop, I stood in for a while. It was totally fine. Then I got my rug pierced. And that wasn't too bad. I remember it being a little bit painful and quite hard to heal. Also got a helix piercing on this side, but that rejected quite fast, so I took that one out. While all this was going on, I was stretching on my ears. I'm now at 18 millimeter. Then just before COVID, I got my third done and i got my conch pierced too which i absolutely love i love that piercing this is where it goes downhill massively coffee break in lockdown i was self-employed i'd lost pretty much everything i couldn't work i was in a really mentally bad place to be honest no excuse for what i did i decided true reckless kyra fashion that i wanted to pierce my own septum so i did i don't know how I managed to do this because it hurt me so bad, but I was just so determined. Don't do this ever. Don't ever do what I did. It turned out fine, don't get me wrong. I could have really messed that up, but I didn't learn. The next day I pierced my smiley. At this point, like my mom and dad obviously you can probably gather from the story, weren't a massive fan of me getting piercings, but they just laughed at me at this point because they knew what I was like. I was an adult at this point when I did my own. I was getting quite a lot of modifications, obviously, with my tattoos too. So now they just love me for it. And they know it's part of me. I pop some jewellery back in. I always take it out when I do my makeup, especially my septum. I'm not really wearing any jewellery in my thirds at the moment. I like to wear, like, some more fancy jewellery when I go out and about. It isn't really comfortable for, like, long-term use. Really into mixing my metals at the minute too. Hence why I'm putting gold hoop in my helix. It's me feeling myself again. So realistically, I'm not done getting pierced things. I've got all the ones that I originally really wanted, but I really want to get my belly pierced. I really want my Medusa pierced too. If you don't know what the Medusa piercing is, it's that part of your lip. I really like that done. Um, I just don't know if I can do that with the smiley piercing and septum piercing that I have. So I need to talk to my piercer about that. I'm not sure which one I'm willing to sacrifice if I need to. Probably Smiley, but I love that one. <laughs> oh, wait! I also got my nipple pierced in college after a really, really bad day. I left because my tutor at college was being really, really critical of something that I did that I was really proud of. So I left in a really bad mood. Because of that, I just had loads of adrenaline, went and took it out on getting a piercing. And I'm too scared to get my other nipple done because I'm scared that if I'm not angry enough, it'll hurt loads. So. But anyway, that is all from me today. So thank you very much for watching. I had a lot of fun filming that and reminiscing. See you on the next one.